What's crack a lack this big cat, big cat outdoors. I know I haven't been able to make a video in a long time, but um, today we're gonna do something a little different. I haven't made a fishing video yet because when I got the GoPros right before dove season, I dove hunted in the bow season and duck hunted. Obviously, you've seen those videos and stuff like that. But today is the last day of duck season. Sad to see it go, but now I'm ready to get them bass rods cracking up. I know y'all have never seen me fishing, but I'm at a farm pond today. I just got out of practice about 30, 45 minutes ago. This is a pond, I got permission to fish. I've had permission since I've got to Troy University. Um, beautiful pond, and then there's another smaller pond you'll see up there, I think I'm gonna fish a small pond because I didn't bring my uh, kayak today. But I just wanted to show y'all the setup. So um, I just rigged up a few little rods, little simple stuff I like to throw just January cold times. I like to slow roll a spinner bait and uh, hard to beat a jig. I like a good jig, you know, in these ponds mostly it's bluegill and stuff, so I try to match the hatch a little bit, and uh, it's been raining, so the water might be muddy, so I got a little some brighter colors and stuff, maybe you can see it, but I was going to use the chest mount for the first time, but I forgot the clip to actually use the chest mount, so I'm just going to use the head mount again, and let's see how it turns out. Hopefully I get a bite. And it's not a big, this is not a big spinner bait, but I can just barely reel it and keep it real slow. That bank is typically better. Right there, it drops up real good, and I usually flip that brush and catch a lot of fish. But right now, I'm just gonna I yo yo it a little bit. Where you at, fishies? Oh, about back last it. Well, that's just a quarter ounce jig. I think it's a dirty tackles jig. Them things are awesome though. Caught a lot of fish off them things last summer. Tore them up in the grass with it. You get it in that, it just lays on top of that grass and fish would eat it on chick. Caught a lot of fish on that thing. Bait. Oh, give it a whirl. Maybe I can draw maybe a little attention. Oh, shoot. You can see it's just an old spinner bait, a little double Colorado. A shad trailer on it. Ain't no shad in here, but clear water. I think the skirt might be a little bit too bright. But spinner bait doesn't want to work right, exactly right. That might have something to do with me. I don't think I had her tuned just right. See, that wants to. I don't like that ship. Kind of like that. Better than this wind. The wind's kind of picking up. I can get that something to slam it. I ain't gonna move very far right now. Better hit him in the head with it. I'm trying to get as close to that cover as possible. that was I thought I got bit 
Guess I didn't. Too clear. No water for this thing. Got him. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw that. He hit the spinner bait. <laughs> that fish wasn't in a foot of water, dude. I mean, I can see bottom right here. He is cold. Look. I hope you can see that spinner bait, swim bait trailer. It ain't much, but first fish of 2020. God, I can't believe how shallow he was. I saw him eat it. That's what's crazy. He was up so shallow. I actually jerked it up to the top real quick. And when I paused it after I jerked it up to the top, he ate it. That was crazy. That fish shouldn't have been there. fish shouldn't have been there I mean he ate it almost on top or he ate it that fish shouldn't have been there that fish should not have been there I kind of yo-yoed it up to the top and he almost smoked it like a topwater bait but that's insane But I'm gonna end it right now, it's getting dark. It's starting to get cold. It was like 48, 50 degrees for the high today and it's probably 45 and dropping right now with the sun going down. Been cloudy and overcast and rainy all day, but first fishing trip of the year. Caught one, that was first bass of 2020. Let's go.